Hello everybody, so today I want to talk about my aunt because I found out that she doesn't wear shoes. Um, so I found about, I found this out about one or two years ago. Um, <clears throat> so me and my cousins, we decided to go um, to visit our family. So um, so I stayed with my cousins um, and my cousin has a boyfriend a husband that is from another town like it's like 20 minutes away from our town so when i went i stayed at her husband's town um so um, i didn't really get to see my cousins often or every day uh, and i didn't visit my cousins often or every day so um so the first time I noticed that my aunt wasn't wearing shoes was when I went to, um, like, I went to, like, the flea market. Um, I went to the flea market and I saw my aunt without shoes. And I was like, I, I well, at first I was like, I, I didn't, um, I wasn't paying attention too much. But I was like, why is she without shoes? Like, where are her shoes? She's walking without shoes and, like, here... And I just thought it was a little bit weird. And I'm like, okay. You know. And I just want to do it back my thing. And then, um, then a couple of days later passed by. And we, um, I'm passing, like, we went to, I think we went to my cousin's house. Um, which was her parents' house. Which is my aunt's house. And then, um, my aunt was, we, we passed through, like, because it's, it's a tropical jungle, uh, it's a tropical forest. So, I was passing through, like, the muddy part. Like, there's no street there. You just pass through, like, all the vines, the leaves, and all that. And the mud, like, and the ground and all that. So, I was passing by, and I, and I see my aunt again. And I was like, why isn't she wearing shoes? <laughs> and, and yeah, that's how I found out my aunt doesn't wear shoes. Um. And when I say my aunt, I mean that she is my uncle's, my biological uncle's wife, which technically doesn't, she's technically not my like biological relative, but she's my relative because she's married to my uncle. So even though like she's, we're not blood related, but she's still my aunt, um, if you know what I mean. And... And so, I told my cousin, like, why doesn't your mom wear shoes? <laughs> I told her straight up, like, why doesn't your mom sh wear shoes? And she was like, because she doesn't like it. She said, we got her shoes, but she felt very uncomfortable with them. So she stopped wearing them after a while. So yeah, like, I thought it was strange. I mean, because, like, most of my family, like... They wear shoes like um, um, even though they're indigenous, like they still wear shoes. Uh, but a lot of people like don't wear shoes. Um, and they're very they, they're um comfortable not wearing shoes. Um, so there you go. Like if you like for like since where we live, it's because it's not it's different for indigenous people all over the world. But where we live, it's a tropical forest so um you don't really need to wear shoes so um it's fine if you don't wear shoes it's not like you're gonna get hurt because it's a tropical forest and you know your area so you don't have to wear shoes where we're from and um a lot of people are starting to wear shoes but um a lot of people don't wear shoes because one they can't afford them um two they feel comfortable without the shoes or or like three, they don't leave their town at all. So like for shoes, buying for them, buying shoes for them is like not a thing. So yeah, I thought um, that's strange, but um, yeah, not like there's still indigenous communities that don't wear shoes at least that I know of. Um, my aunt is one of them that doesn't wear shoes. Um, 
But my cousins, like, since they moved to the city and all that, they were shoes, um, they, they're able to afford shoes, um, so yeah, um, I thought I wanted, I thought I'd share that, uh, what else did I want to talk about, um, oh yeah, like, like, one of the things that frustrated me was, um, like, when I used to go to the river with my cousin, my cousin would always walk like nothing on the rocks. And then I was like, wait for me. I cannot walk in these rocks. It's so painful for me. Like, I cannot live without shoes. Um, but my cousins, they're so used to walking barefoot that it's very comfortable for them. Like, for me, like, every time I stepped on a rock, like, my feet would hurt really, really bad. Um, but for my cousins, it was like nothing. He would just walk like, and I would be like, I would have to go in with socks. Like, I would have to, like, I wet my socks to go into the, um, into the river and the rocks. Like, I feel more comfortable wearing socks, and I feel more comfortable getting in the water with my socks. Um, yeah, so, um, for them, it's, like, it's different, um, it's different how they're used to like walking barefoot but for me like even though I'm indigenous I cannot walk barefoot that's something that my body has not adapted to so um hell no like I can't like um <laughs> I used to take my um my sandals my plastic sandals and one time it like I was walking like on the river like inside the water and then like <laughs> I lost my sandal, but my cousin went to get it for me. I was like, oh my God, good thing I did not lose my sandal because imagine walking all the way to my house without a sandal. That, that would have been so painful and so stressful. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. That's all I wanted to share. Um, thank you for watching.